Hey, welcome back to Hobbies with Jose, everyone. So before we start, I just want to say I do film my videos a week in advance. Right now it's Saturday, April the 2nd, and so I'm now just able to react to what's been recently happening to my channel. Two things. Number one, for our Grimlock Repaint Part 3 video, it mysteriously, surprisingly, unexpectedly got picked up by the algorithm, which caused it to do pretty good. I hadn't seen numbers like that before. But as to what caused it to do that, I don't know. Was it the mangoes? Because I can do mangoes. Oh, I can do mangoes all day. Oh. Mmm. Good. But I'm not sure, right? But I'm still eternally grateful. And for number two, which was more expected, I had the pleasure of sponsoring the latest video by the Fantastic Lazy Eyebrow, which not many people know this. He'll never own up to it, but that's his full name, the Fantastic Lazy Eyebrow. And the ad that he put together was just, oh my God. Seeing my work on his channel, pretty surreal which you can definitely check out up in the card. I know that's an ad within an ad. It's okay, synergy. But many of you did decide to check out my channel and you left some lovely comments too. So thank you, welcome aboard. Hope you don't regret it. But with all that said, let's finish the mission, shall we? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So good to have you back. And we finally made it. We're here in the last part, ready to get Grimlock completed. Now, as of this recording, I still don't have the paint for the tail or the arms. So it's running a little bit late, but it should be in either today or the next couple of days. Still plenty of time to complete the project. No sense in freaking out just yet. But we still have plenty to do without it. Started with a little bit of painting left, after which we'll go ahead and start reassembling the limbs to get them ready for panel lining and dry brushing. So let's get started.
So, while I wait for the last bit of paint to come in, I'm going to do a little bit of prep work onto the tail. The inside sections of the tail are actually visible on the leg, so I want to go ahead and get these painted the same stainless steel color, just so it's not as visible. And of course, shout out to the fantastic Lazy Eyebrow for giving me that recommendation too. All right, well, we have reached the part of the build where I really need that extra paint, so I guess there's nothing else better to do than to wait. All right, you know what? This isn't gonna work. I'll be right back. So instead of waiting for the package to come in, I did go ahead and buy them at retail at a hobby shop an hour away, but at least we got them now. But this is the type of paint I've been wanting to try out to get a nice chromey look onto our tail and our dino hands. It's by Spastics and I've heard some pretty good things about it, although I doubt we're going to get an exact mirror look, but at least something that's a little bit shinier than just silver. We're going to start by adding the Ultimate Black Backer first, kind of like a primer, then adding multiple thin coats of the Ultimate Mirror Chrome, and finally top it off with the Ultimate Clear Coat, which is specifically made for the Mirror Chrome. So let's see how good these paints perform. And we've arrived yet again at the final step of our build, and that's to add the Autobot symbol. And I do have my trusty sheet here from Toy Hacks. I'd love to use this size symbol here, but I'm thinking it's going to be just a smidge large. So I'm thinking the next one down should be a good size, but I'm going to have to cut it in half.
You know, it's kind of ironic how my biggest custom so far was relatively pain free. I mean, don't get me wrong, there were roadblocks, but that was really just not getting the paints on time. No fault of the figure itself. Overall, it was relatively smooth. And I'm not gonna lie, when I started this project, I was a little bit overwhelmed. But I guess it is true what they say, size doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm definitely glad I used the stainless steel. I think it's a perfect match for Grimlock and it will be for the rest of the Dinobots too. And for all the trouble that it took me to get that chrome paint, I keep thinking, was it really worth it? Hell yeah, it was! Look at that, it's awesome! Oh my god, not bad. I mean, it's not chrome chrome like it is on Masterpiece, but overall, still a good look. At the end of the day, I'm also glad I ended up picking up both accessory kits too. I mean, apart from the clear chest piece that I really wanted, I really do love the gap fillers for the arms. At first glance, you don't really notice that they're there, but that's because the design matches what's on the other side of the arm. That's genius. Really couldn't be happier with the articulated dino arms too which again is basically the same design that was already there, just adding that extra bit of articulation. And lastly, the screw hole fillers for the T-Rex head was a welcome surprise. Did not expect to have those included, but so glad they're there. So yeah, I'm very happy with how this guy turned out. But yeah, having to secure the paint super late, today is Wednesday, April the 6th, 10 p.m. This video comes out in three days, which leads me to what's next. How about a two week break? <laughs> Even though the project was relatively smooth, I think I need a bit of a rest. You know, since I started my channel back in August of 2020, I've been releasing a pretty steady clip of videos every week, many times more than once a week. So hopefully you'll forgive me if I take a couple of weeks off. It's okay, right? We'll be good. I'll be back before you know it. And when I do come back, I'm gonna be rejuvenated. After finishing my biggest custom ever, I think I'm gonna be ready for something bigger, bolder, grander than your wildest imagination. Oh yeah, I'm going to be ready for- ah! Oh hey you! You seem upset. Which I don't know why, because Ravage is here! Yay! <laughs> So hopefully you'll forgive me if I take a couple of weeks off. If I take a take a couple of take a couple of take a couple back crap take a couple of capital. We're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs>